Well, okay, so far the storm is turning out to be a dud. Uh, this is the most snow we've seen. We've, we left the house at about uh, 4.30 this morning. It's, it's now 7.30, yeah, about 7.30. Left the house at 4.30 this morning, went up to uh, load up with salt, um, started spreading salt, but it's 34 degrees. Um, the snow has just started coming down again. Uh, we've got, I don't know, a quarter inch, half an inch here on the ground. But um, this, is the, this is the only place that the road has been covered as much as it has. Otherwise, the roads are just wet. But we are putting salt down on the roads. And uh, we'll see where this takes us. Uh, it's supposed to change to rain sometime this afternoon, so I, I doubt tractors are going out to push any snow because I think the salt and the temperatures will take care of most of it. But got the farmer's daughter in the truck with me, and um, we're gonna we're gonna keep on spreading salt here. Oh uh, yeah, we got problems. We've got a salt spreader that this right here got hung up in the chain of the salt spreader and it has bent our drag chain up uh, don't ask where this came from we're not sure we we're almost sure it came from the salt bin where we got loaded slipped through the grate I guess cut that other side and then we'll deal with the links. We didn't have to shovel much salt out of there. Okay, we've got it. Uh, pulled apart. We've got to get at least one link, maybe two links to uh, go back in here. Um, so we've got we've sent somebody off looking for some parts. We're not sure if we have any laying around on the shelf, but we've got uh, we've got one guy checking for. So in the meantime, the snow has picked up. We're going to head out and uh, drop some more salt until we figure out what is going on here. But again, this. This right here, it, um, yeah, somehow got in there. And then just talked to one of the other guys. Uh, he's got a two before laying up on his grate that it wasn't there when he started. So we, we're getting some bad salt out of the, out of the bin up there, um, causing us a few problems. But luckily the two before didn't drop through his grate. Okay, we can head back out. I had to take the plow off of this tractor, put the bucket loader back on so we could take that salt spreader off. Uh, but on that salt spreader, this is where that piece of uh, metal fell down through. This is the grab hook on the salt spreader comes up through here. So that's why it's that big of an opening uh, for that grab hook. But somehow that piece of metal was able to uh, work its way down in between there and got caught up in that drag chain and yeah here we are okay luckily it wasn't a whole lot of salt in there to shovel we just shoveled the salt in there into my truck uh, okay uh so there goes one of our guys there headed back out to get some more salt and you can see it's starting to turn a little white around here uh, there goes the other guy that had the salt spreader on the back of the truck that we took off. And uh, I'm just about out of salt, so 
I'm gonna uh, run this out and then uh, head back up and get another load myself and keep on going here. Well, okay, we got that spreader up and going. I had, um, I had, these links are real close to that drag chain in that spreader. So that's what we ended up using. Uh, we just put a tack weld uh, on the end. Um, they had most of it done by the time I got down here. Uh, so let's see, there's the truck uh, headed out there now. So he's back on the road going. Uh, I sent the farmer's daughter and sexy rooster in my truck to keep on to keep that truck moving and to keep plowing and spreading salt. Uh, so they're gonna come back here and pick me up. So uh, we've got everything back on the road. It's still snowing. We're actually plowing snow now. We've got maybe about two inches on the road. So we're we're dropping the plows down where we need to. Uh, pushing a little bit of snow off the road and um, spreading salt behind it. Uh, it's uh, 12 o'clock. I expect uh, I expect this to be changing to rain probably in the next couple hours here. Uh, but yeah, we've got about two inches on the ground. Let me look at the radar screen here. And... Yeah, that rain snow line is, I don't know, about, I would say, 50 miles to the south of us. Um, moving up slowly, so I think the forecast is for this to be changed into rain between 2 and 4 o'clock. So we've got maybe another two hours or so of this snow. Uh, it doesn't look like our tractors are going out. I, as I said earlier, I, I had to take the plow off of this tractor to... Um, uh, take that uh, spreader off of the truck. Uh, so I'm not going to put the plow on until we are actually called because I'll end up using that uh, bucket probably before the plow. But uh, yeah, uh, winter wonderland out here on January 31st. Damn, it's cold. All right, there goes uh, Sexy Rooster and Farmer's Daughter. Uh, they wanted to continue doing what they're doing, so I'm gonna do that. Uh, I got I got the keys to Sexy Rooster's truck, so maybe I can go cut some donuts in his truck um, rather than screw my truck up. But I'm gonna move the tractor down to the farm, uh, down to the barn, and uh, jump in Sexy Rooster's truck. Why am I standing out there, getting covered in snow? And uh, I'll stop up at the hardware store, see how things are going there. I'm sure, I'm sure it's a slow day there. We had a good day yesterday at the hardware store. Um, sold a lot of, hold on, I need to make a phone call. Hey, stop. Um, I'm going to put this chain back in your truck. Uh, yeah, I'll just drive out there to you. Back up to Clyde's uh, driveway. All right, so where was I? Um, so we sold a lot of uh, salt, snow shovels, sleds at the store yesterday. And uh, so not, not much to sell today. And it's, it's Sunday, so uh, people are just gonna stay inside. I just, I remembered the, the chain I took out of my truck uh, so we could take that uh, snow plow, I mean that salt spreader off of the other truck. So I'm going to put this chain back in my truck because as soon as I uh, don't do that, they'll get up the road somewhere and need that chain. So let me just run it out here to them. Hello? 
Yeah. I, I think we're okay. Um, we've just about uh, got caught up through uh, to Ridge. Um, I've got the other crew uh, on the 235 side. I think they're doing okay. We got our salt, that other salt spreader going. He's headed up to uh, get another load now. Uh, he's going to start at um, Rosecroft and work his way south to meet the other guy. So. Yep. Yes, we're we're going back now and, and catching up on those. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right, see ya. trying to keep it all straight down here I, I just told the county inspector uh, there's there's no need to bring our tractors out not for two or three inches yeah I can make some money at it but I'm not that way I'm not that kind of person to suck the government tit so to speak uh, let's let's just let's just do what we need to do uh, at this point, our pickup trucks are, are keeping up with uh, with everything, I believe, and, and we're okay. I know some of you will say, damn it, it's government money. If they're going to offer it, you take it, but it's my tax money. Um, save it for the next snowstorm. Wasn't too bright of me to send the farmer's daughter off in sexy rooster without coming down to the barn and picking me up first but I'm not a sissy yet I can still walk through the snow and the cold and the rain and whatever else it's not that far of a walk up to the shop to get the truck uh, what do we got here uh, we got well, two, two inches, two and a half, about two inches, I guess. Well, I'm a guy, so, you know, two inches, five, six inches, yeah. We exaggerate sometimes. are done for the day five of uh five of the truck or four of the trucks are ahead of us headed out on the last one headed out of this neighborhood it is all rain right now it's 5 30 and uh it has been raining for the last three hours so we've mainly just been pushing slush and snow and all that other stuff been nasty actually
turn the light on so you can see me. Okay, uh, started at 5 o'clock this morning. Um, it's 5.30 now. It'll be 6 o'clock when we get home. So 13 hours, not a bad day's work. Um, and it wasn't, it wasn't hard work. Uh, three, maybe three and a half inches of snow at the most. Uh, just some minor issues. The one with the drag chain on the spreader that uh, got jammed up and broke, but it didn't take much to fix that. And then uh, one of these other guys hit a manhole cover and knocked his light out. Um, broke the light. Out. Just the bulb was knocked out of the inside of the uh, headlight on the snow plow. Uh, so it was a pretty darn good day to not have any breakdowns. All right, until next time, see ya. There's truck number one, truck number two, truck number three, truck number four, and I'm number five. Hey, do you see that? It's snowing. Uh, it snowed on Sunday. I took the, the truck out plow, salt, we did all of that. We had about three inches here. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, that was Sunday. Yesterday, Monday, we had um, a little bit of snow, a trace of snow. And then today, we've just got a few snowflakes and it's damn cold. Well, it's probably not your cold uh, because the snow isn't really sticking today because it is 34 degrees outside feels like 33 but that's cold to me hey can you hear Angela coming in let's see can you see her there she is 